Hello everybody, this is Freddy with Freddy Can Fly and today's video is for Tom Bonavita. Uh, Tom, you sent me this 450 to work on. Um, it was a used one and we've been having some issues with the 3GX. Um, the front end of it seems to fly pretty good but I'm having some issues with the tail. I'll just give you a quick look here um, and then we'll give it a test flight so you can uh, see what's going on here. But essentially, um, status light right here equals red should be what's known as rate mode. So as we're flying, you'll notice every time I give a rudder input, it returns to its center automatically. Uh, typically, this is the mode used to program and set up the tail, not fly it in. Um, coming over here, toggling your switch, you'll see the light turns green, which is the mode we should fly in heading hold mode. Realistically, what should be happening here is when I move the rudder, it should stay over to the side when I release the rudder stick and it's actually acting as though it's in rate mode as well. I'm not sure if the heli's actually picking up the heading hold signal um, or if there's something wrong in the 3GX unit. Um, so flying wise, I mean it flies but it's having a really hard time. It's sensing directions but um, the tail it just snaps around like crazy. So uh, I'll give it a quick test flight just so you can take a look at it um, and kind of see how it's behaving. You can zoom out a little bit if you have to. Tail's really, really hard to hold. Um, you might not be able to tell, but I'm actually fighting the tail right now just to keep it locked in the one spot. So um, the heading hold is actually not active at all, even though I'm on the green light. Um, I think the, the flat barless unit may have a defect in it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's having a really, really tough time flying. We'll go ahead and set it down before we do any crashes on there. Um, Basically, we might have to go with a new fly bar unit. 